Arsene Wenger refused to split Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo in the great debate about the bear, giving the perfect response to the question. On Monday night, it came as a shock to no one as Messi picked up the FIFA Best Award, being named the best men's player in the world for 2022. It came off the back of leading Argentina to the World Cup, finally ending his quest for the one trophy he'd yet been able to get his hands on. He rounded off the night by leaving those in attendance laughing at his acceptance speech, as he told his kids to go to bed in the middle of it. Later in the year, Messi will likely earn his eighth Ballon d'Or award as well, taking him three clear of longtime Ronaldo, who was too busy attending Jake Paul vs Tommy Fury to be at the FIFA awards. Oh, how their careers seem to have gone in completely opposite directions since November, when the 38-year-old was released by Manchester United. To many, the weeks following that ended all discussion of who the greatest between the pair was, with Messi winning the World Cup. However, Wenger doesn't agree and refused to give them a hierarchy, saying they proved just how wonderful the sport could be. When they will not be there anymore, we will realize what they have given us, both of them, the former Arsenal boss said at FIFA's awards. I always refuse to make a hierarchy on that because they are two different players. Completely different players, but two exceptional players who have shown the world for 15 years how great football can be. Ronaldo is unsurprisingly starting to have a pretty decent time of it playing in Saudi Arabia, after signing for Al Nasser at the beginning of the year. He scored a hat-trick at the weekend, before going to visit the boxing, but some fans don't believe he's as far ahead of his rival when it comes to goal scoring as initially thought. The Saudi Pro League isn't ranked as high as the Spanish third tier, where Messi scored some goals during his short stint playing for Barcelona B at the start of his career. Some reckon that is Ronaldo's goals in the Middle East count, then the PSG forwards goals when he was a teenager should also be added to his official tally.